The UN Security Council has existed since 1946. Since 1946, since it was founded, an American president has presided over the Security Council exactly once. Today, President Obama was the chairman, facilitator, pass me the talking pillow, presider guy uh, over the UN Security Council today in New York. And for his trouble, he earned a 15 to nothing unanimous vote. from the Security Council in favor of a little project he's got that he likes to think of as abolishing nuclear weapons worldwide. Abolishing nuclear weapons worldwide. This doesn't mean that all nuclear weapons go away, but it does mean that when Obama gave that big speech in Prague saying America's vision, America's mission in the world was a world free of all nuclear weapons, he just got Russia and China and Britain and France and Mexico and Japan and Uganda and all the other Security Council countries to say that they are on board with that idea too. Not bad for a day's work. Remember when George W. Bush named a guy to be his UN ambassador who said he wanted to lop 10 floors off the UN building? The Secretariat building in New York has 38 stories. If you lost 10 stories today, it wouldn't make a bit of difference. Under George W. Bush, that guy was America's man at the UN. Things are different now. Very, very different. Good morning. Good morning. Den norske Nobelkomité har bestemt at Nobels fredspris for 2009 skal tildeles president Barack Obama for hans ekstraordinære innsats for å styrke internasjonal diplomati og mellomfolkelig samarbeid. Den novisen Nobelkomité 
has decided that the Nobel Peace Prize for 2009 is to be awarded to President Barack Obama for his extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation between peoples. The committee has attached special importance to Obama's vision of and work for a world without nuclear weapons. Obama has, as president, created a new international climate. Polit multilateral diplomacy has regained central position with emphasis on the role that the United Nations and other international institutions can play. Dialogue and negotiations are preferred as instrument for resolving even the most difficult conflicts. The vision of a world free from nuclear arms, the vision of a world free from nuclear arms, the vision of a world free from nuclear arms has powerfully stimulated disarmament and arms control negotiations. To find something called substance in what <laughs> Rush Limbaugh had to say today. Now, Glenn Beck uh, also said today that the Nobel Prize should have gone instead to the Tea Party goers and everyone who protested the president on September 12th. The people who want the president to fail in his mission to accomplish things like, oh, peace in the Middle East, nuclear disarmament, peaceful things like that. Uh, now, I, I mean, th these people, I, I guess, don't understand what a peace prize is to be awarded for, do they? And that they won't see the error of their ways? No, sir, they will not. not, not the only chance we have as a country right now is for Osama bin Laden to, de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States. To, de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States. To, de to deploy and, de and detonate a major weapon in the United States. I mean, one of the reasons these techniques have survived for about 500 years is apparently they work.